The way that I look at programming is I think about a journey. I think about a journey that I want to take the dancers through and a journey that I feel the audience should go through as well. So I look at the works that I feel a dancer should be dancing, that a dance company should have in its rep um, to make those dancers become better artists, become better da dancers, to evolve in terms of their, their talent and, uh, and their experiences, but also audiences, for audiences to be excited, to be challenged, um, the one thing that we want to do as, perform as performers is we want to be able to relate to our audiences. We want our audiences to have a feeling, to walk away from a performance of Miami City Ballet with something in their heads, something in their heart, something in their, their souls to be transported. And all of that starts with exciting programming. The works for Program 1, all are number ones in one way. <laughs> uh, Ballo della Regina was the ballet that Mr. Balanchine created for Meryl Ashley, who was a principal dancer with New York City Ballet at the time, and it was the one ballet that actually uh, brought out everything that she could do. It actually made her a ballerina, and uh, it put her in front of the public eye, and she became Meryl Ashley through the work that he did. So it was her first role um, created on her that made her great. Uh, Polyphonia is the same with Christopher Wheeldon. It's one of the very first works that he created uh, in 2001 when he was just emerging as a young choreographer and it put him in front of um, this audience that came to know him and it was really this the first ballet that showed us that he was just this very talented uh, neoclassical choreographer. And Sarah Nod is obviously Mr. Balanchine's very first ballet that he created in 1934 in the United States. It also happens to be my very first ballet, my very first Balanchine ballet that I, that I ever danced, and the first ballet that I danced at the school of American Ballet as a graduating student. So it had a lot of firsts <laughs> for me. The reason to come see First Ventures is because of the first program of our season. And our season is a journey that I hope to take the dancers through and the audiences through as well. It's about experiencing different things with us each step of the way throughout this whole season. And, um, and so each program adds another layer to these dancers and adds, hopefully adds another layer to our relationship with our audiences.